Welcome back. All right, bring on the flavor. Fall food is so much more than pumpkin. That's right. We got Donna McPherson joining us. She's an olive oil sommelier and the owner of Golden Isles Olive Oil Company. Welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you. It's great to be here. This oh, we're excited to have you. No doubt. You're going to show us. Uh, best ways to enjoy fresh fruits and stuff but first let's talk about olive oils because a lot of people don't understand there's all kinds of different and different regions taste different and there's different qualities right and you're gonna have um, a lot of times we talk about it um, in relating to wine or grapes yeah. because olive is a fruit um, you may have we're gonna taste a hoji blanca olive that's grown in Australia but it would not taste the same as a hoji blanca that's grown in Italy Why? or Chile because you've got you different regions, different terroir, different um, seasons, climate conditions, so the it's going to change. Different, yeah. yeah, it's going to change every characteristic about it. I love Very it. Very nice. It. Yeah. Okay, so now when it comes to olive oils, I can tell you. Um, Growing up, my parents seemed to like, if I felt like they had a better grasp of it, but there's virgin, there's extra virgin. Um, so when you say like there's an olive oil taste tasting, you mm -hmm. kind of feel like, what do you mean? We're going to taste different kinds of olive oil? So what kind of like separates these? So what, um, well, what separates these are the different style of um, olives. We have a Hoji Blanca, a Favoloso, and a Pequal. Okay. So, um, Where's the Pequal from? Where are these last two from? You said Australia and where else? Um, Chile. In Italy. Okay. Uh, okay. So the um, component in olive oil is the polyphenols that change the flavor, and that's what you're going to taste the difference. This is a mild one. The polyphenol level is at 200. Um, the favolosa has a mid range polyphenol level, and then your Hoji Blanca. So it's, the more peppery it is, yeah. um, the more antioxidants it has. And, oh, okay. you, and it, you might even get a little tickle in the back of your throat. Get a little cough going, but that's yeah. called a healthy burn. So that's, that's a healthy you, burn. That's okay. why you want you want a higher number of what's that called again? Polyphenols. 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 You want a high number of polyphenols. Is that exactly. on the bottle on regular olive oil? Uh, not on regular olive oil. Uh. But ours is fresh pressed. We rotate them every six months, and we put a tag on all of our feasties that um, you can easily read and see for yourself. All right. <laughs> let's let's go through some examples of what you've prepared here. Um, okay, so Tuscan herb olive oil is an infusion. Um, all your great Italian herbs, rosemary, oregano, garlic, I invite you to taste that. It's our biggest selling infused olive oil. Oh, I kind of kind of want my own. All right, fine. <laughs> I need more bread than you. <laughs> this one's great for bread dipping. It's also a wonderful marinade for chicken. Wow. Or isn't that awesome? Add to your pasta sauces. You, so you, that's just olive oil. Normally you have to add the spices to right, get that, that flavor. That it's already been infused with the spices. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That is great. Beautiful oh, salad okay, dressing. there's the cough. <laughs> oh, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> I, th I think my lungs are immune. It's the Mediterranean in me, I guess. All right. So now this is a very common thing, bread with olive oil. Like you said, mm -hmm. and the fact that it's infused, you can already taste the flavor. But you guys can also do this with, with desserts, right? You're mm. Incorporating olive oil in dessert. Yeah. And people don't often think about sweet treats with balsamic and oil. Um, we worked with a local chocolatier, Sugar Marsh Cottage, up in Darien, and we made a ch Amarano Cherry Balsamic Ganache oh my inside gosh. What? a bonbon. Donna, can I just say you have been my favorite guest? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. And we've got more. I'm sorry, I love the bread and the this this is crazy. I'll just leave a bon. Yeah, isn't it good? Mm. This is so full-bodied flavored. Isn't that wonderful? Can you? So there's there's balsamic in this. It's um, cherry balsamic. Wow. We also make one with a blood orange olive oil. Mm which I used in our brownies here. So we baked off the brownies with blood orange olive oil, and then I'm going to top it with a little Cara Cara orange vanilla balsamic. Okay, okay I'll try for that. For a real decadent <laughs> You've twisted taste my arm. here. <laughs> I get to try that one first. All right, let's you drizzle. So you, you drizzle a little bit of olive oil on a brownie. This is something that you typically just oh would not gosh. think of. And this is, yeah. All and right. it changes everything. Wait till you taste it. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Folks, we got to go. Mm. <laughs> We got more to eat here. You will see this segment again on our website, firstcoastliving. Oh my gosh, that's really good. 